Hey guys, welcome to another video of mine. This is part 7 of the multiple choice question series on CSEC technical drawing. Okay, so we're gonna go through 10 questions. Let's go. Late at night, I think of you, your vision floods my mind. There is a mind. Alright, the first one says the diagram above shows the construction of a regular hexagon given. And for that method, um, you will be given the sides. So once you are given the length of one side, you can use your compass to construct the rest of the hexagon. Okay. So the answer would be the length of sides, which is, which is A. Uh, the diagram above shows how to find the center of an arc with a radius R. So you see R right here. Let me pull up the laser pointer. So the point of the circle or the arc is um, labeled R, okay? So the diagram above shows how to find the center of an arc with the radius R, which is tangential. So it basically asks me what is the circle tangential to, okay? So as you can see, the circle touches two lines, which are... Um, meeting at any angle okay they are not meeting at right angle so because you can see here it's not a 90 degree angle so they are meeting at any angle but the circle or the arc is tangential to it okay all right the lines marked x on the diagram above are symbols which indicate and this in indicate that sections are, are removed from the object okay so it's not completed all right so the answer would be C. All right, number 43 which of the following diagrams shows the correct construction of a rhombus given one diagonal and the length of the sides so if you are given the diagonal actually you should know what a rhombus is first of all and the answer can only be A because that gives you um, the diagonal and you would know um, the length of the sides in order to construct it okay so the answer is e uh, the true shape of the cut surface on aa on the right cone above so it's asking when you cut the cone above at a to a uh, what would you actually see okay if you cut it at a diagonal you would not see a perfect circle okay and it's asking what you would you actually see okay and what what you would actually see is this down here which is more of an ellipse you will see that there, okay all right uh number 44 the diagram above is to be reproduced in third angle projection on which of the following views can the distance x be measured okay so x can be seen from the front it cannot be seen from the front but it can be seen from the plan view and looking from the end view it could be this end or that end okay so the plan view and the end view which is one and two okay so that would be a patterns for cones and pyramids are produced by line development known as and usually put for cones and pyramids if you um, cut them or they are truncated the you would use um, a parallel hatch inside of the portion that you cut up okay so there would be um, parallel lines and the, in the question right here you can see them um, they are in parallel lines okay all right so the representative ratio for a scale of one millimeter to one meter, um, that would be one to a thousand, which is D. Okay. Um, the diagram shows the construction of a rectangle BCDE. So you have B, C, D, and E right here. So it's asking. Um, the diagram shows the construction of a rectangle that is either half the area of the triangle, is it twice the area of the triangle, is it equal to the area of the triangle ABC, 
or is it the same perimeter as the triangle so in a previous video i went through a question similar to it so if you haven't gone through any of the other videos please do so um, in preparation and the answer would be because of the base of both the triangle and the rectangle are the same then the area would actually be the same, be the same okay so the answer would be c equal to the area of the triangle abc okay the sum of angles in a quadrilateral um, that would be 360 degrees and uh, that would be b and i think that's it okay so if you understood these questions and the explanations like the video um, comment if you have any other question um, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more if you haven't done so already even after your exams um, in for those who um, would like more videos I would be doing videos on um, building and furniture technology also and also technical drawing CAD drawings and so on okay All right so thanks for watching and I'll see you um, on the next one. Alright, bye. <laughs>